Stop. The Halloween intro won't work for this one. It's blood and chocolate, guys. I don't know if I can talk about this for five more minutes. Okay, deep breaths. Blood and Chocolate is a 2007 werewolf movie about a girl werewolf and a comic book artist. Graphic novelist Amber God set in Bucharest. It's got weird rules for its packs, and I guess the head werewolf wants to sleep with whoever, whenever, and he's got his sights on our main girl werewolf, Wicker Basket, uh, Vivian. Oh, and the dude is from America and knows a little bit about our people for whatever reason. I don't even know. Comic research, maybe? I'm not looking this up. I know it came out in 2007, and the Twilight movie came out in 2008. I'm still gonna say thanks a lot, Twilight, because, you know, this book came out in 97, and it was perfectly fine to languish away in obscurity and get banned and stuff. Yeah, it got banned in some places because it's sex positive, and the main character's like 15. Sounds pretty progressive. It was probably a pretty awesome read for a teen or tween in the 90s. And then, Twilight. Twilight hits in 2005 and suddenly every teen property gets a really hard second look from companies wanting to make a quick buck and Blood and Chocolate gets the nod. But make them older and make it a hideous patriarchy and make the werewolves magic. Cool. I'm sure the book is something that I would have read and enjoyed the hell out of. Which makes it all the more sad that this weird little travesty of a movie exists with its beautiful, ethereal, magical werewolves that explode out of wisps of smoke into full-fledged, normal-ass wolves that haunt you down because, hey, I wanted to tap that wolf ass even though I am or was tapping her aunt's wolf ass. No idea if she's still alive at this point. You bring her back, human. I'm sure there are people out there who love this movie. Good. Things deserve to be loved, and I'm sure this weird little thing has its merits. I honestly applaud the use of these werewolves. The CG transformations were... not great. Not even for ten years ago, but they're decent, and they evoke a kind of wonder. Parts of this movie are beautiful. Not beautiful enough to make me want to revisit this thing. Please, no. <laughs> but there is something there. The fact that these werewolves are magical, but so bloodthirsty in their human forms is an odd juxtaposition. That may be part of the problem, as the book werewolves, I guess, according to the wiki, are not so vicious. Talking about this movie doesn't make me want to revisit it. It left a bad taste in my mouth that is fully deserved. But I might go looking for the book sometime. I hope it's good. In the meantime, I'm done. That was glitter. Glitter. What do you think of Blood and Chocolate? Have you even seen it? Cause I don't think many people bothered with good reason. <laughs> um, let me know what you think in the comments. And what do you think the next film should be? Alright, see you guys later. Bye.